Black has escaped from the wizard prison, Azkaban. No one's ever broken out before. Twelve years ago, Black murdered 13 people with a single curse. Well, at least we'll be safe at Hogwarts. What's wrong, Harry? Ron? I overheard your dad talking about Sirius Black last night. The Ministry of Magic thinks he's after me. Black's escaped to come after you? Oh, Harry, you'll have to be really, really careful. Don't go looking for trouble. I don't go looking for trouble. Trouble usually finds me. But they'll catch him, won't they? I mean, they've got all the muggles looking out for him, too. Scabbers, come back! Can't you keep that monster under control? Calm down, Ron. You don't want to wake Professor Lupin. Don't worry, Ron. We'll help you find Scabbers. Oi, Goyle! Look who's here! Draco's looking for you, Potter. I think he's got you a nice surprise. There he goes! You can cast Alahamora to open that door, Harry. Hold down the left mouse button to activate your wand. Keep holding while you move the mouse to aim your wand. That's it! Now let go of Alahamora and you'll cast a spell. There he is! We can climb over this luggage, Harry. We just need to walk up to it and we'll be able to start climbing. We'll have to jump up to climb over those crates. Right then, you lead the way. Walk forward towards the crates and click the right mouse button to jump. Let's pick up these Bertie Boss beans. Fred and George will trade some wicked stuff for them in their shop. I suppose we'll have to push this thing out of the way. Or one of us could cast a pulso. This one, Riley. Right, now where's that rat of yours? A locked chest! There's usually Alahamora. something inside these. How's Alahamora to open it, Hermione? Thank goodness. If we walk into this safe book, it'll store our adventures up to this point. Oh, great. Scabbers went behind that wall. Oh, really, Ron? You might think about training your rat. Wow! It's a magically locked cabinet. We need to cast at the same time to open it. All three of us. I'll start, and you two join in. Watch out! Yes, Does everyone remember how to cast a pulse? I'm not so sure about this carriage. What's in those cages? Definitely not supposed to be in here. We can't leave scabbers, can we? Come on, follow me. Well, look who it is. Potty and the weasel. I should have known the pathetic excuse for a rat had something to do with you. Draco Malfoy. So they put you in the creature's carriage, did they? Probably the only place you could find a friend. Actually, I do have a rather interesting friend I'd like to meet. Everyone playing nicely now. Oh, what's that monstrous looking book? Actually, I believe it's a copy of the Monster Book of Monsters. Cast the pages. We'll knock them out of the air, Harry. Rick the Stepra! Rick the Stepra! Rick the Stepra! Well done! Is it okay to scream now? Ron, you really do need to work on the accuracy of your spell casting. A wizard card. I love collecting these. If we search around enough at Hogwarts, we could find all 80 collector's cards. Scabbers! You've given us a lot of trouble, you useless rat. Come on, let's get back to our compartment before we're missed.
None of us is hiding serious black under our cloaks. Go! Harry! Are you all right? Yeah. What happened? What was that thing? A Dementor. One of the Dementors of Azkaban. We better head back. We'll be at Hogwarts in a few minutes. Are you sure you're all right, Harry? Fine. I'm fine. Harry, Ron and Hermione were delighted to be back at Hogwarts. Harry's encounter with the Dementor had caused him no serious harm, other than a growing feeling of dread. The three friends hurried to their first class of the term, anxious to resume their lessons. I'm Professor Lupin, your new Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher. Our first lesson involves the spell Carpe Retractum. Ron Weasley, would you please join me? Um, me? Are you sure? Uh, Hermione's loads better at spells. You'll do fine, Ron. Just step through this door to begin. Hello? P Professor Lupin? Welcome to the Carpe Retractum Challenge, Ron. There are ten challenge shields scattered throughout the challenge. Some are well hidden. Find all ten shields to earn a visit to the Bean Bonus Room. If you don't find all the shields your first time through, you can always come back. Complete the challenge by collecting the final shield. Let's get started. Carpe Retractum has two primary uses. To pull yourself towards something, or to pull something towards you. See if you can find a statue to cast the spell at. Then, watch what happens. <coughs> Carpe Retractum! <laughs> Carpe retracting! Oh. Carpe retracting! Oh. Carpe retracting! Oh. Oh. Um, Professor Lupin? That thing doesn't look very friendly. That is an Impron. Beware. It might throw exploding wizard crackers. Spells may not be effective in this situation. Try not to let the wizard crackers touch you while they're in the air. When they land, you can pick them up. But be careful. If you're not quick enough, the crackers will explode. Uh, professor? That's a fire grab, Ron. Be careful. It can shoot fire out of its, um, well, out of its backside. Cast Rictusempra to knock it over. Then cast again as needed to knock the fire grab into the trap. Hit the plate of Challenge shields, which means you get to visit the Bean Bonus Room. Wow! This is the Bean Bonus Room! That's right, Ron. Collect as many goodies as you can before the time runs out. That was fantastic! Um, where are we? These doors will let us back into any spell challenge we've completed. We can have another go at the Carpe Retractum Challenge if you like, Ron. Or we could go exploring. You lead the way, Ron. Look, I think we've come out in the side chamber. I've heard about this room. These portraits provide shortcuts to every floor in the castle. I wonder how we can get the password. Harry Potter. Just the person I was looking for. 
Hello, Fred. Where's George? Upstairs, minding the shop. Early Christmas present for you, Harry. It's the Marauder's Map. It'll help you find your way around Hogwarts. Wow! Thanks, Fred. You can press the tab key on your keyboard to bring up this map at any time. Come on, follow me upstairs. I'll lead you to the shop. I've got some collector's cards for sale, if you're interested. Right, there you go, Harry. Professor McGonagall, Professor Dumbledore. I am glad to see you're feeling better, Harry. Thanks, Professor. You're probably aware the Dementors of Azkaban are here at Hogwarts on Ministry of Magic business. I'll bet Sirius Black steers well clear of Hogwarts with those Dementors lurking about. Come on, lads. George is waiting at the shop. Follow me. about something. Wonder what that's all about. Hello, Harry. Welcome to our shop. Wow, look at all this stuff. Just walk up to any item that takes your fancy. We'll tell you what's what and how much it costs. Bunch of time. <gasps> oh, no. Peeves. Boo, ho, ho. Poor Potty and Weasel. They've got no passwords, so they can't use the portrait shorty cat. Oh, look at this! I've got the passwords right here! Come on, Ron. We can get that paper. Right. Let's cast together and teach that pest of a poltergeist a lesson. <laughs> Potty and Weasel, you haven't seen the last of me. We got the passwords! Come on, let's give it a go. They only work on the portraits with the floor numbers at the top, right? I think so. This should get us back to the side chamber. Starshot. It's almost time for Care of Magical Creatures class. And Hagrid's teaching this year. Um, do either of you know where we're supposed to go? I think the class is down at the paddock. Off the care of magical creatures, are you? So am I. That's great, Neville. We'll go together. Come on, follow me. She's down at the paddock. This way. I only wish Malfoy, Crab, and Goyle were. Care of Magical Creatures class is just through that gate. Ah! No! Um, and that must be a pixie infestation. Um, when you three are finished dealing with the pixies, Care of Magical Creatures class is this way. It's up to you, Harry. We can explore for a bit. Or follow Neville to class. Pixies! Ugh. E! Get away from me! We've got a pixie infestation on our hands. What can we do to help? Just cast at the well to stir up the swarm. You'll have to work together to get rid of them. If you don't get all of the pixies on the first try, you can try again as often as you want. You'll learn a collector's card each time you can beat the swarm. If you can drive off every last pixie in the well, you learn all five cards in the set. But that's no easy feat. Pick the set up. We did it! That's right. Fly away and good riddance. That was fantastic. Uh, what's that thing? Oh, I hope Hagrid doesn't expect us to touch it. Disgusting creature. <laughs> Welcome to Care of Magical Creatures class. I'll be teaching you this term. I'd like to introduce you to Buck B. He's a hippogriff. Today, you'll be learning how to ride him. You first, Harry. Just walk up to Beaky and give him a bow. 
you won't catch me bowing to that filthy beast. Hello, Buckbeak. There's a good hippo. Your goal is to fly through enough bats to beat the top number on the counter. As soon as you're ready, just click the right mouse button to make Beaky fly. Got it! Collector's card. That was really well done, Harry. Come back to the paddock any time you want another go. There's five courses to fly in all, and you can win a collector's card on each of them. I bet you're not dangerous at all, are you, you great ugly brute? <laughs> I'm dying. Look at me. It's killed me. You're not dying. Do you think he'll be all right? Of course. Madam Palfrey can mend cuts in about a second. You can bet Malfoy will make something out of this. Harry was very concerned about Hagrid, and with Malfoy playing up his injury, he was worried about Buckbeak too. Where'd Hermione go anyway? It's nearly time for Transfiguration class. Um, you two ready for class? Are you all right? What's happened? I'm just a bit... Tired, that's all. We'd better get up to the first floor, or we'll be late for transfiguration. We could take the first floor portrait shortcut. Or go round by the stairs. You lead the way, Harry. Right. First floor, transfiguration class. <laughs> Ooh, looky, looky. It's Weasel, Grunge and Potty. Peeves. I don't like the look of that armour. I bet we can beat him if we all cast at once. Ron, get ready to use your Carpe Retractum spell when we've worn him down. Oh, goody. Three ickle playmates. Ha, ha, ha! Stop it, you You were brilliant, Ron. It's easy to be brilliant when you're scared half to death. We'd better get on to Transfiguration class. Peeves has probably made us late. Hello, and welcome to Transfiguration class. One of the most advanced Transfiguration spells enables a wizard to become an Animagus. Animagi can transform themselves into animals and then back into people. For example... Are there any questions? Professor McGonagall, are werewolves animagi? No, they're not. Animagi turn into animals at will. A werewolf cannot control its transformation. Now for today's lesson, the Draconifers and Lepifors spells. Miss Granger, perhaps you'd grace the class by having a go at the exercise I've prepared. Me? Oh, yes! If you'll just step through this door, then... the transformation of a small object into a rabbit. Correct, Miss Granger. Five house points for Gryffindor. Cast Lapifors on the rabbit statue. You will then be able to control the transfigured rabbit. Lapifors! Use the arrow keys to move the rabbit in the desired direction. The right mouse button will make the rabbit hop. You will find rabbit holes throughout the challenge, Miss Granger. If a hole is blocked by grass, click the left mouse button to make the rabbit chew through the vegetation. Got it! Press the left mouse button to chew through the grass. Now let's move on to the Draconifor spell. Cast on the dragon statue, Miss Granger, to transform it into a living creature. Draconifor! Oh, brilliant! Now, listen closely. To proceed, you will need to use the dragon to get the fireball pickup. Then you fly up and land on a platform. Finally, you must light the torch to complete this part of the challenge. <coughs> Miss Granger is a Bunderman. A Bunderman will expel a foul trail of slime that you will need to avoid. Oh, it's 
It's repulsive. You can cast Richter Sempra to stun abandonment. Then, if you're quick enough, you can jump on top of it to see if it will produce a reward. <laughs> Nicely done, Miss Granger. You've completed the challenge. You've collected all ten challenge shields, which means... I get to go to the Bean Bonus Room. Fantastic! Wow! This is the Bean Bonus Room! Correct, Hermione. Collect as many goodies as you can before the time runs out. Hermione! There you are! How was it? Excellent! I can turn things into dragons now! Wicked! You mean the flying, roaring, burn down the village sort of dragon? Um, no. It's just a very small, transfigured dragon. Oh, shame. You can have another go at the challenge if you like, Hermione. But we can come back and do it another time. Even though the following morning was stormy and fun, Harry was excited to be playing in the first Quidditch match of the season. came away from the fall without injury, but he resolved to confront his fear of the Dementors. Professor Lupin offered to help him with anti-Dementor lessons. He asked Lupin about Sirius Black, the man who had been his father's best friend and had betrayed both James and Lily to Voldemort. The professor seemed reluctant to discuss the matter. We better get on with your anti-Dementor lessons, Harry. We obviously can't bring a real Dementor into the castle, so we'll make do with the Boggart. The Boggart will appear as the thing you fear the most, which in your case, Harry, is fear in the form of a Dementor. First, we'll practice on a target. Aim your wand at the target. Then, hold down the left mouse button to build the spell's power. You'll see a ring of light move up your arm. For a perfect cast, you must release the spell just as the ring passes over your wand. Give it a try. The incantation for the spell is Expecto Patronum. Right. Oh, a Dementor. No, concentrate. The Boggart has taken the shape of a Dementor to play on your fears. Expecto Patronum. In this case, Boggart, the creature's presence will likely keep you moving. Cast a perfect Patronus at a Boggart to disable it. Make perfect cards at each moment in the end before the spell has time to wear off. Expect an explosion! Expect an explosion! I, I did it! Well done, Harry. It would seem you've mastered the spell. Brilliant! Oh, and there's a collector's card too! Please forgive the trapdoor and so forth. It was necessary to see how you do if the Dementors took you by surprise. You did brilliantly. Thank you, Professor Lupin. After the anti-Dementor lesson, 
Harry asked Professor Lupin if it was true that Sirius Black and Harry's father had been friends. Professor Lupin seemed disturbed by the question. He would only say that he had known Sirius once, or thought he did. Ah! Scabbers is gone! And you know what I found on the floor? Cat's hair! Orange cat's hair! You're not suggesting Crookshanks! I just heard they're going to execute Buckbeak because he attacked Malfoy! No! They can't! This is all Malfoy's doing! He's the one who wants to be punished! There must be something we can do! An appeal! An appeal, that's it! I'm sure I've read about a case of hippogriff baiting. We can look in the library. I'll come along while well, I've had it with that monstrous cat of yours, Hermione. I wonder where Madame Pince is. Maybe Crookshanks got her too. I know she'd let us look at those books on hippogriff baiting. It's an emergency. It kept in that legal section over there, but it's locked up. There must be some other way to get up there. All right, but let's just try and do this without getting into trouble. Trouble? Who says we'll get into trouble? Find a way to get us up for that legal section, Ron. Right. I'll take it from here, Ron. You and Harry go and keep a lookout. We'll shout if Madame Pinch shows up. There's the book. Perfect. Now straight to Hagrid's. Did you find anything that could help us with Buckbeak's defence? Yes, and I've already dropped the book off at Hagrid's. Hang on. How'd you do that? We only just left you. Well, um, I took a shortcut. Come on, we don't want to be late for charms class. It's right over there. Eee! Get these horrid things away from me! Run! It's completely bad! Oh no! Maybe we'd better have a look. Um, don't we have charms class now? Yes, but I think we have time to teach that thing a lesson. Whatever it is. It's up to you, Harry. There's some sort of monstrous book on the loose in there. I hope you've come to help. You'll earn a collector's card each time you defeat all the pages. There are five cards in all. Don't worry, we'll take care of it. Good luck. I I'd stay and help, but uh, uh, I'm late. Yes, uh, very late indeed. So much for the monster book of monsters. It's a bit sad, really. Seems like we should have tried to tame it. Hermione! Hello, class. I'm Professor Flitwick. Welcome to Charms. Today, we will learn a very useful freezing charm called Glacius. Let's see. Who would like to demonstrate? Harry Potter. Just the fellow. If you'd like to step through this door, we can begin the Glacius challenge. Glacius is useful for freezing a number of things, Harry. Let's begin with an Amazonian salamander, shall we? Take care now, Harry. You'll need to eliminate both the creature and its fire. Give it a try. Glacier! With the Zebra! Lovely work, Harry. Now, Harry, see if you can use the Glacier spell to freeze this flowing water. Glacier! Excellent. Wow! It's solid ice! Here's the best bit, Harry. Time to go for a slide. Just use the left and right arrow keys to turn. Press the up arrow to go faster and the down arrow to slow down. Off you go. I'll see you at the end of the challenge. Excellent 
job, Harry. You've completed the Glacius Challenge. Not only that, you managed to get all ten challenge shields. You know what that means. The beam bonus room. Have fun, Harry. Wow, this is the beam bonus room. That's right, Harry. Collect as many goodies as you can before the time runs out. So, how was it? You can freeze things now. I can slide everywhere. Oh, wicked. And salamanders the size of Hagrid. The blue or the scarlet variety. Doesn't really matter, I suppose. You can have another go at the Glacier's Challenge if you want, Harry. Or we can come back later. Despite the dangerous visitor lurking around Hogwarts, Harry insisted on going to visit Hagrid. He was anxious to hear the outcome of Buckbeak's trial. Was that? I think it was. Poor Buckbeak! Poor Hagrid. They've carried out the execution. Look! It's Scabbers! You see, Ron? Crookshanks was innocent! You naughty rat! Oh, run! Ah, 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 Harry, look out! Ah, the if that dog can get in, we can. How does this tunnel come out? I don't know. But we've got to help Ron. Oh no! A charmed skeleton! We'd better both cast at once! Rick the, Rick the <laughs> Oh no! Salamanders! Impressive with that glacius charm, Harry. Um, <coughs> thanks, but Rick, 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 Rick. <coughs> Harry, are you all right? <sighs> yeah, fine, but I don't see a way back up. Keep looking, I'll see if I can find a way down to you. Ron's all right. The pop show! Well, that was fun. Ah! 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 about this. Where's the dog? It's not a dog. No need to be afraid. Sirius Black is not what you think he is. And Scabbers, he's not a rat. He's a wizard by the name of Peter Pettigrew. What? Watch. I can explain. Pettigrew's an animagus. It wasn't Sirius Black who betrayed your parents, Harry. It was Pettigrew.
Peter Pettigrew had not only betrayed James and Lily Potter to Voldemort, he had also framed Sirius Black as Voldemort's spy. It was agreed that Pettigrew would be taken back to Hogwarts and turned over to Professor Dumbledore. But there was one more secret to be revealed that night. Professor Lupin, what's wrong? says Ron will be all right. He just needs some rest. Unfortunately, Sirius Black is not faring so well. He's locked in a high tower. He'll be handed over to the Dementor soon. There's nothing I can do to stop it. But he's innocent! I believe that's true. What we need is more time. Time Turner? More than one innocent life could be saved tonight. I meant to tell you. Eventually, Professor McGonagall let me borrow this Time Turner. I've been using it all year to go back in time so I could attend extra lessons. That explains a lot. We could use it to go and save Buckbeak. And then fly him up to the tower to rescue Sirius. But we must take care not to be seen by our earlier selves. They've got Bugbeak in there somewhere. It's awfully quiet. You're sure you set the time turn about the right amount? Uh. Look! There's Bugbeak! Brilliant! Let's find a way to get to him. Must be a way to make this platform go up. You did it! Perfect. Careful now. Right. Oh no! The door closed! Well, there's got to be a way out. Nice one, Hermione. You open the door, but it's too high for me to reach. Does that help? Perfect. Hold tight. I'll see what's in there. Spon <laughs> Sponge pass. Hello. A lot of good that did. Now we're both stuck in here. A leopard's rabbit. Leopard. Out of there! Alan. Alan. 
Hermione. I'll go see if it's time to rescue Sirius. Be careful, Harry! Still using the power of the Time Turner, Harry hurried towards the lake. He had to learn who had cast the Patronus spell that had saved him from the Dementors. Had his father come to help him? Had James Potter cast the spell that saved Harry's life? And then Harry understood. He hadn't seen his father. He had seen himself. Expect to explode him! I knew I could do it this time because I'd already done it. Does that make sense? Harry, we've got to rescue Sirius from the tower and get back to the hospital wing before anybody realizes we're missing. Right, let's go. to go. They'll be here any moment. Quick, go! How can I ever thank... Go! We'll see each other again. You are truly your father's son, Harry. of Sirius Black's escape spread throughout the school like wildfire. No one seemed to know how he had managed it. Harry, Ron and Hermione kept what they knew to themselves. Besides, it was the day of their final exams and not all of the friends were well prepared. I don't know how you're possibly going to pass your exams, Ron. You've hardly studied a thing. Me? What about you? You spent all that time researching Buckbeak's defense. Please, Ron, give me some credit. I used the time turner to study, of course. I'm aiming for perfect marks. She's always got an answer, doesn't she? Bad news, Ron. Your carpet retractor exam is first. We'd better head up to Professor Lupin's classroom. Shall we take the portrait shortcut to the third floor? Or the stairway? <laughs> Fancy buying a collector's card, Harry? No, thanks. All right, just let me know if you change your mind. Want to buy a collector's card, Harry? All right. Enjoy the card, me. I've got some collector's cards for sale if you're interested. You've got a deal. Appreciate the business, Harry. Hey, Potter. Interested in buying a collector's card? Great. It's a deal. Enjoy, Harry. Well, here we are. Ready to take that final exam, Ron. Um, do I look a bit feverish to you? 
Good try, Ron. Harry and I will meet up with you outside in the courtyard after our exams. Bye. Nice knowing you. Ah, there you are, Ron. Ready to start your final exam? Well, actually... Right then. Here we go. I must warn you, Ron. This exam is fairly difficult. And also a bit dangerous. Um... Dangerous? To earn a perfect score, you must collect all five challenge shields. Go to it, Ron. Good luck. Carpe Retractor! Carpe Retractor! Thanks, Professor Lupin. I hope you've prepared for your final exam, Miss Granger. Absolutely, Professor McGonagall. Thanks to the time tanner you lent me. You may find this a bit more challenging than our previous exercises. Collect all five challenge shields to earn a perfect score on your exam. You may begin. You scored 100%, Miss Granger. Exactly what I expected of you. Thank you, Professor McGonagall. I do wish the term wasn't over so soon. There's so much more I'd like to learn. Peace yourself, Miss Granger. If not for yourself, for the rest of us. Ready for the Glacius final exam, Harry. Ready, Professor Flitwick. Splendid. You know the rules, then. Pick up all five challenge shields to earn a perfect score. Got it. Five challenge shields. Oh, and Harry, this exam's a bit more difficult than our usual Glacius exercises. Good luck to you. Well done, Harry. A perfect score. Wow. I can hardly believe it myself. It was a pleasure having you in charms class this term, Harry. You have a great deal of natural ability, my boy. A great deal indeed. Ah, glad to see you three survived your final exams. Oh, they were great fun. Speak for yourself. I'll be having nightmares for months. Well then, let's see whether you've completed all of your third year requirements. Looks like you've got a few things to finish up yet. Off you go. Hello, Harry. Back for some more hippogriff riding, are you? If it isn't too much trouble... No trouble at all, Harry. <coughs> well done, Harry. And you got the collector's card, too. Did it, Harry? You won all five cards in the set. Come back any time and see if you can top your best scores. <laughs> I thought we had seen the last of you, Peeves. That armor looks red hot. Ooh, ickle kiddies. Want to play? Sponge. Look out, Harry! He's throwing torches! Oh, looky, looky! Crack Potter! Oh.
Real work, Harry! Thanks. I quite enjoyed it. You don't think we overdid it? Making him cry like that? Don't worry. He'll be back to annoy us again in no time. Well then, need another look at that achievements list? Here you go. Well done, all of you. You've completed your third year requirements. Splendid work. Absolutely splendid. You should all be very proud of yourselves. What you did for Sirius Black and Buckbeak was truly courageous. Now, do try and behave yourselves during the summer holidays. As the Hogwarts Express carried him and his friends back to King's Cross Station, Harry recalled something Professor Dumbledore had said. You think the dead we loved ever truly leave us? You think that we don't recall them more clearly than ever in times of great trouble? Your father is alive in you, Harry, and shows himself most plainly when you have need of him.